Hello guys. We have a perfume haul. Hello guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a perfume haul. So I received and purchased a lot of perfumes recently. Um, I just wanted to come on here to show you guys the newest additions to my collection. The high variety. I got some at PR, so purchased some as well. I also have an unboxing for you guys. Like, I haven't unboxed it. I'm going to be unboxing it live. Description, you should know what perfume that is. You guys are going to be so excited for this one. I'm excited too. I'm very happy to have this particular one in my collection. So, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to get started with. Uh, I think I'm going to start with My Way to Perform by Jijo Amani. I recently got it in my collection. This is a Tuba Rose Vanilla Iris Fragrance and it's great for the spring, it's great for the summer. Yeah, it's great year round in my opinion. It's really heavy. If you know the OG, the OG um, My Way, they really do not smell similar. It has its own personality. It's just very easy to wear. It's just like a really nice white floral with um, vanilla. So next up is one perfume that really surprised me. Her name is Beloved Frags on Instagram. Follow her. She's really nice and I really love her taste in fragrances here on the screen. But she recommended this perfume, City Reading Temple. I recommended this fragrance to me and I really do love it. It's a sweet and woody fragrance. I've actually been wearing it to the gym recently. Today, I got a compliment from a lady. I came into the locker room and she was going out. As I was coming in, she was going out to just like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. And I was so excited. I was really happy because I really love how this smells. But she noticed and she said that it smelled very incessant. And she asked me for the name of the film and she literally told me to show her. And I pulled up my phone and I had to show her. This is winning. So Tempo is really versatile. It's fresh enough for you to wear to the gym. It's also fresh enough for you to wear to work. That's what I love about it. It's just well-rounded, sweet, woody, a little bit fruity and gourmand. Those hair, bergamot, tonka, incense, lily of the valley, vetiva. Trust me, I know all the notes of it because I just love how this smells. And it's very long-lasting as well. I sprayed it on my shirt. The next day, I could literally just smell it. It's very long lasting. I think it's the amber gray that is doing that. And I also got a compliment from another girl while I was lifting. And she was like, wow, I, could, I can just smell your perfume. It smells so good. At a point, I began to wonder if my fragrance was too strong because the compliments just kept coming in. Next up, this is an unboxing. I know you already know what the fragrance is, and we're going to be unboxing this fragrance together. The perfume also. It also involves unboxing. I got this fragrance from Neil Marcos. After sampling this fragrance for a while. I sampled this fragrance for a while before I pulled the trigger. It was an expensive trigger. Okay. This one was 5C. But is it worth it? Whatever you're going to see. This is Guidance by Amwash. 
there is a film house in the Middle East, Oman, I think. And they make really nice fragrances. I've sampled a bunch, but I've never owned any of their fragrances. This is going to be the first because I have heard good things about this fragrance. When I sampled this fragrance, I just knew that it was for me. I'm a big fan of perfumes the Mali. I heard that the perfumer who made the Lina exclusive was the person who made this. Oats and what I smelled when I sampled this fragrance, I was in love. I just had to get this fragrance in my collection. So I'm really excited and let's unbox. looks really exquisite. I'm liking that. Let's open the fragrance. Yeah. This is a bottle. And I'm just going to pull it out. Making it really nice and the bottle is magnetic. I really love that about the bottle. Cute. Just a squeeze it, you know. I'm really happy to have this in my collection because it has been on my wish list for a really, really long time. This is soft, floral, very useful, a little bit fruity, a little bit of spice. The, the person that actually influenced me to get this, she is a YouTuber. Also. I think her name is. Oh my god, I can't remember. It's going to be in the description or it's going to be on the screen, but I think her name is I honestly can't remember guys. But she was the one that talked and read about this paper, tempted to go sample this. I had to go sample it because of the price point. Her reviews on this were so good. They were on point to how this fragrance actually sounds like. It's nice, it's pretty, it's long lasting, wonderful. Just have to let this fragrance sit on your skin and go spray it on my skin. I also got a lot of compliments on this one when I had my sample. So I was there was just so much reason that just pressed me to go get it. So I'm definitely going to do a few, a full review on this. So keep an eye out for that. So the next fragrance that I recently added to my collection is from Patreon Roma. I hope I'm pronouncing that right because I always push out this name. This is Anon and this is the is the 50 ml, it's the 50 ml bottle. And it comes in this. In this box, I sampled this for a few days and I was really intrigued because it, it gives money, luxury, as if you are on a yacht and you are just, you know, hanging around people who are millionaires and you are also a millionaire as well. That kind of vibe. Very luxurious, rich vibing kind of thing. It's unique. I don't, I haven't smelled anything like it. It reminds me a little bit of Arabian Tonka by Montel. It reminds me of Masara Instant Crush, but it's very unique in its own way. It has notes of gold, mango, saffron, bergamot, rose, iris, base notes, musk, Manga, Monta, and Citro Oil. This is really 
like it's kind of spicy or bright so it's like how you know it's just really nice i think it's worth sampling i haven't heard a lot of people talk about this brand patio and roma because when i was doing my research on this segment i didn't really see much reviews on youtube and i want to change that because this fragrance is definitely underrated in my opinion more people need to be talking about this um, it's definitely worth to try if you're looking for a different kind of vibe like something that is not generic something that is just going to be unique this is really strong you do not want to overspray this is strong icky last and it has an amazing projection still it's very long lasting it literally lasts days so if you're looking for a fragrance that is very long lasting and smells wonderful smells rich definitely get unknown so speaking of the house of Pation Pioma I also grabbed another fragrance from them and it's called Dossier Passion. I think I'm pronouncing that right because I did my research. And this is the bottle. I just wanted to put it back in the packaging so that I can show you guys. This is what you would call a common lover from dark realistic chocolate and fruity fragrance so it's chocolate is let's say strawberries covered in chocolate that chocolate i think um a little bit of saffron I probably got a sample and i tried it for myself and i really did enjoy it i just put it on um, on my wrist if this is a massive trail it's really nice with long lasting it's just you know it, it's just a really nice common fragrance i would love to do a dedicated review for you guys so let me know if you want a more detailed review on this but all i can say for now is that it's if you are looking for a really nice chocolate like a really nice like well done chocolate fragrance you should be looking towards to see a person it's a really nice one like it's well made well blended yeah it's just it's just really good this is really good because if you enjoy fragrances like choco violet by mansara the thing about this one is that you have to let it dry down when you first put it it has that bitter dark chocolate kind of vibe but you have to let it dry down and when this dries down that's when the beauty shows like that's when the beauty comes up so i'm really happy to have to see person in my collection so another fragrance that i recently added to my collection I've been meaning to talk to you guys about this fragrance, but I haven't had the time. This is Charmante by Elysian Perfumes. This is a fruity and boozy fragrance with champagne. It, has, it gives that vibe of champagne. It's very bubbly. I really love the bottle. This is by Elysian Perfumes and they are a fragrance brand that make their own fragrances but they also make fragrances that are inspired by other fragrances as well and they were really kind enough to send me this bottle and I really do appreciate it because this is one of their best fragrances ever this is one of the best it's really nice it has this boozy vibe to it, even though it's fruity. It has those notes of 
pear. It's like a fruit mocktail. It kind of reminds me of vanilla ice cream. And the vanilla ice cream is really creamy. And it's beside a fruit bar, like a nice fruit bar with pears and apples. That's what this reminds me of. It's a feminine fragrance. This is like a nice wonderful signature scent in my opinion the longevity is moderate to long lasting i get six to eight hours from this this is really nice and when this bottle runs out i have a little dent i'm trying not to that spray but when this runs out i'm definitely going to get a Full bottle. I'm going to be doing a separate review because I think this deserves its own review. I'm going to go in depth about how this actually smells. Like. I was sent two fragrances from an Icelandic niche perfume house, and that is Andra Mac, and they have really, really nice fragrances. I was first sent a light sauce, then I was sent entrance. So these fragrances are really unique in their own way. This is what I love about Andra Mac. They make really nice niche fragrances that smell so unique. Light Sauce, this is a beautiful fragrance that reminds me of when it has just spray. Bitter lemon, fig, and it just refreshing. And it's bright, it's just a nice bergamot fragrance. It's very easy to wear, you don't really need to think much about it. You can wear it out to walk to the gym. You can just, it's very flexible. And that's what I really love about the entrance. This one is a little bit more complicated. It's a warm spicy aromatic fragrance this has a lot of spice in there but it's very thick and dense like it's what i would call a very spicy vanilla fragrance it kind of reminds me of annie by Michelle. yeah it kind of reminds me of annie by Michelle. so if you like fragrances like that you would definitely love this one it's not for everyone you definitely have to sample this before buying it's a love for me because i actually do love woody and spicy warm spicy fragrances different personalities in my opinion light sauce she knows the rain she's bright she's uplifting everyone Everyone knows that she's always smiling, she's always happy, you know. Then entrance, it is giving confident, bold, not afraid to say what they want. And they are very, you know, very out there and they always smell so good. So the next one is by Memoirs London. And this is Caritas. See it? Yeah, this is the bottle. Memoirs London. They are a British niche perfume brand. And I was really curious to try some of their fragrances. I was able to find a sample discovery set on Mercari. I ordered it and I tried some of the fragrances. And Caritas caught my eye. I really enjoyed how this smell. It's very unusual. It's like a warm, spicy fragrance with notes of milk. It's it's really unusual. It's not it's not your typical day kind of fragrance. What attracted me to this fragrance was the card cardamom the cardamom notes that it has. I really do enjoy fragrances with cardamom. So that was why I decided to get this 
because I really did enjoy how it smelled. It's kind of hard to describe how this smells. When I first spray it on my skin, it reminds me a lot of cough syrup. A cough syrupy kind of scent. But when it, I realized that when it comes to these fragrances, you have to actually train your nose to be able to experience this kind of fragrances. That's why it's a niche fragrance. They do a lot of things. They experiment with different with different notes. It's it's very much different from designer fragrances where you just get the generic vibe. This one is really different and when I sprayed it, it's not like cough syrup at first, but then I had to let this dry down. I had to give it a good 10 minutes and that was when I actually smelled those notes of cardamom, you know, berries, lemons, the milk notes intertwining with the wood in here it was really nice i really did enjoy it and that was why i decided to get a full bottle of this but i realized that with this frequency you have to give them time the dry down of these frequencies is what really attracts me to them so i'm excited to have this one in my collection characters Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed this perfume haul. I owe you guys some reviews, some full reviews. We have Gagan, Charmante, um, Juicy Passion, Anon. I owe you guys few reviews and I'm working hard to get those reviews on. And I hope you guys enjoyed this perfume haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me and it helps my page as well. Thank you so much for the support. I'm going to go make more videos to show you guys. And please let me know what perfumes from this list do you have your eyes on. My bet is on guidance. I have a feeling Guidance is going to be everyone's number one fragrance because she might just be the next it girl, no longer a crowd hood, in my opinion. So let me know and I'll see you guys soon. Stay blessed and bye.